Hi, I'm April with the Picky Palette. We're going to try these brand new Oreos today. Chocolate peanut butter pie. I've never had them before. I can't wait to try them. All right, open it up. Ooh, ooh. All right, they're thick. One side's peanut butter, one side's chocolate. I'm gonna get a mixture of both of them. Really nice, smooth peanut butter. I think it's gonna make a great basis for our next recipe. All you're gonna need today for the recipe is chocolate peanut butter pie Oreo cookies, eight ounces of cream cheese, either whipped or softened, and a bag of candy melts, preferably chocolate to go with a chocolate peanut butter pie. Today we are going to make Oreo truffles. We need now to crush the cookies. I have something really exciting to crush them this time. Something's gonna work great. Now I'm just putting the rest of the cookies in here. Okay. Now today, our weapon of choice is a giant cast iron pan. This ought to do it fast. So if not, if you have a rolling pin, you can do that too. Now, if you have any aggression, if you're angry at something happened today, good way to get it out. Ah, rough day at work. Okay, now we're pouring the uh, cookies into this nice bowl. See how nice and ground up they are? Looking good. Yeah, that'll be great. Now we're gonna mix in the cream cheese. I did get the whipped soft kind to make it much easier, but you can get a block and just let that soften. And you're just gonna stir that right into the whole cookie mixture. All right, the next step in our process of making truffles is to melt the chocolate. I use the candy melts because I find they melt very smooth, but you can use chocolate chips, any white chocolate chips, regular chocolate chips, and melt them the same way. We're doing it in the microwave because it's a little safer. So put some chocolates in here. We'll start off with that amount. We're gonna do it at 30 second intervals so it doesn't overheat and get nasty. And don't forget to use a microwave safe bowl. You don't wanna go through all this and then have your bowl cracking and not breaking in the middle of your recipe. This is what my chocolate look like after about a minute and a half. Every 30 seconds, take it out, stir it, and like, cause it'll keep its form, but stir it and then go back in. And this is like I said, a minute and a half and it's nice and smooth. Okay, time to put these together. We're getting into the nitty gritty of it all. Wash your hands cause you're gonna get into it. All right, we're gonna make a ball of the Oreo mix. I usually go about a tablespoon. My hands are little and just roll them up like this. So they're whatever size you like. I think that's about, a, about an inch ball. And then we're gonna dunk them in the chocolate and swirl and we'll do that. Okay. Then we're gonna put, I put on a foil lined pan so that it wouldn't stick to my pan. And we just keep going. Let's do another one. Let's take it. Roll it. You can wash your hands in between times. Dunk it. And there we go. All right, now to put these in the refrigerator to firm them up, and they'll be ready in about half an hour or so. Thanks. Okay, now the truffles have been in the refrigerator for about half an hour. They should be nice and firm by now. So the next step is to actually take a bite and see how they taste. You ready? Mmm. Oh my gosh. It's like a really rich peanut butter candy. Mmm.
Well, thank you so much for watching The Picky Palette. And don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Above all else, remember, you can do this.